the situation given to us is like this and we are supposed to find this distance. First of all, note that by elastically we mean that the component of velocity perpendicular to the surface is just reversed in direction without altering its magnitude. This also means that the component parallel to the surface is not affected by it. So if we look at the motion of the shadows for each axis for such a motion, we will see that the y component goes as before and only the x component is affected due to the collision. Therefore, the total time of flight in both the cases with or without the collision will be the same and can be found by using the equation y equal to uy into t minus half g t square where y is equal to minus 1 uy is equal to u sine of 45 which is equal to 10 meters per second therefore we get 5 t square minus 10 t minus 1 equal to 0. From this we can say that t will be equal to 10 plus minus under root of 100 plus 20 whole divided by 10. Discarding the negative value we get t equal to 2.1 seconds. Now, time taken to hit the wall will be equal to this distance divided by the horizontal speed that is 5 divided by 10 meters per second which is equal to 0 0.5 seconds. After the collision, the horizontal velocity is in the opposite direction and the ball covers the distance in this direction for the rest of 2.1 minus 0.5 seconds before hitting the ground. So the horizontal distance covered in this period will be equal to the horizontal velocity into 1.6 that is 16 meters. Note that this motion is the mirror image of this motion. This is expected as the horizontal velocity is just reversed due to collision.